Hi everybody, this is Smitty Smith, and thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel. I'm hoping to start bringing this back a little bit more, uh, so I figured what better way to do it than with a Destiny video. And what I'm going to show you today is uh, basically a rundown of a, um, a run on Mars that I do uh, in order to get just a massive amount of chests. You can see here in the beginning, uh, rather than run to the area that we're going to be in, uh, down on the right hand side from where you spawn, there is a cave. Oftentimes a chest will spawn in there. Just check it real quick and then we're going to run down to the area that we're going to be camping. It's this bowl shaped crater uh, that features two uh, Destiny uh, factions going at it, uh, giving you the opportunity to kill things and to get a whole bunch of loot in the process. Um, we know that we the the loot cave has been um, has been nerfed at this point. Uh, spawns have been changed. Uh, you know, spawn timers have been increased. But from what I'm finding uh, here with this little Mars treasure chest run, there is still a chance for uh, a large number of legendaries, uh, the purple legendaries, a ton of blue deco heron engrams, motes of light, uh, ascendant energy, ascendant shards, anything can pop out of these chests. And there's so many of them uh, that odds of getting some of this stuff uh, is actually pretty, uh, pretty high. So what we're going to do, you can see I'm, I'm running the circuit right now. Right now I'm in the, the cave. Uh, there's a chest that will spawn on the left and the right. I'm looking down in that little gully uh, because there is a relic shard in this area that constantly respawns as well. Uh, not that important. You'll get enough shards out of the treasure chest, but if you see it, grab it. Um, you're going to run. I call this down here uh, room number one. Now in this run, I ran it for an hour. And I'm going to try to show you every chest I find. Uh, I didn't find a single chest down in here for the entire hour that I played. So I had assumed uh, this is uh, after the patch went into effect on Tuesday, October 14th. I had assumed that they had nerfed it and, and moved some of the chests because I only get, I don't know, 15 or so chests in the hour that I'm here. Uh, but I was just there today, uh, just a couple of days later, uh, with a friend. And uh, we ran it for about an hour, and we got about 38 chests going around in this circle. So you'll see on the... Well, let's let's kill these, these bad guys first, get them to leave me alone. Um, but um, inside the dome, it will often spawn. Um, on the side of the dome, in that little uh, culvert right there. On top of the dome, either on that platform or under the rock on the right-hand side. Uh, you can see uh, from the beginning of the... Uh, the the video it was at the top of that ramp uh, down here this is room number two as I refer to it on that wall you'll see me jump up and check that often and then down into uh, room number one and it can spawn up on top of things it can spawn on the floor uh, but the chest will spawn uh, over and over and over again and what's cool about it is that it's not just firing into a cave you're not just firing at things and standing still. As you move to one side of this bowl, the enemies will spawn on the other side, so you can kill them and, and get a whole bunch of loot that way. And then, as you uh, go to the other side, you can see the, the chest on, on the side of the dome here. As you go to the other side, then the other enemies spawn. So you're constantly running back and forth and killing things. There is a mission down in this area you can get as well. Um, if it's a kill mission or a kill and collect mission, that's what you want to do. You probably don't want to run out of this area uh, because it's so tightly packed and the chest respawns so fast. Um, I have hit runs where I go from uh, checkpoint to checkpoint. Uh, and there's seven or eight different areas um, where all the chests can spawn. But I've hit runs where uh, you, checkpoint to checkpoint, there's a chest at every single one. I don't know how the spawn rate works. I just know it does. Uh, in here, in, in the cave, on the left and the right, a chest can spawn. Um, every once in a while, you'll see a chest spawn in an area where another one spawns more frequently, but in a strange place. Uh, it might spawn um, on top of that, that building I was just aiming at there. Uh, it might spawn uh, off to the side or, or out in just plain view. Um, but uh, th this is the, the circle I run. I, I go just point to point. Uh, like I said, I, I don't usually do it for an hour, but I wanted to get an idea of, 
of um, you know how many chests are spawning per hour. This was actually a slow run. Um, but I think I mentioned that before. Uh, I was just down here with a friend, and and just so many chests were spawning. So I don't know if if there's any little thing you can do to speed it up, or if there's anything you can do to slow it down. Um, but uh, this is definitely for those people who got tired of the loot cave, uh, but still need to farm for relic iron, or if you need shards, motes of light, uh, strange coins, all of that stuff. This is where you want to go if you're farming. Um, if you're just playing the game, great, just play the game. Um, you'll, you'll get just as much enjoyment from that as well. Uh, but I mean, let, let's be honest, Destiny's a grind, and, and you need to grind some of this stuff out if you want to level it up to the where you know the place you want to be. Uh, I've pulled two legendaries out of one chest in this area before. Um, I haven't pulled any legendaries lately. So they may have taken that out, um, but I have pulled strange coins and, and things like that. Also, as you're seeing you right now, going. every half hour uh, on the hour, so uh, you know at the the top of the hour and, and half past, you will uh, you'll get an opportunity for an event, and it's either kill somebody, uh, which I'm trying and uh, and okay. I'll fail at here, uh, or it's up on top of the hill behind you where we jump down. Um, you'll have to defend the Warsat. Uh, additionally, because there are two factions warring here, there is an opportunity that every half hour, much like what happened at the Loot Cave, uh, the enemy forces will move against each other, and there is just a hellstorm of, of enemies that pop out, ultras and, and things like that, just non-stop, uh, which makes for a good, you know, five or eight minutes of, of non-stop action, uh, a good way to uh, to finish off some other missions if you're doing any of those. So, this is really it, guys. Uh, if you don't mind running around in a circle and, and opening chests and, and killing enemies over and over again, this is probably what I would suggest doing if uh, if you're looking for a replacement to the, to the loot cave. I would assume based on my video here um, you can expect the nerf but there are other areas on other planets where this type of stuff happens you have to look for a small enclosed area lots of caves uh, rooms little little outlets things like that and if you run in a circle you'll get an idea of where all the chests are how frequently they spawn and how frequently you can take advantage of it so i hope you enjoyed the video i plan to do more um, you know, leave a comment, make sure you subscribe because uh, I'll be doing uh, far more stuff than I have in, uh, in months past, especially now that I'm doing this whole uh, video game journalism thing full time. So stay tuned, and again, thanks for tuning in, guys. Watch out.
Okay, good luck.